Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I decided to make a video which I think will be very helpful for you guys. Basically, it is a tutorial on the use context hook, which is a very famous hook and useful hook in React. And it allows you to create basically global states, which are accessible from like all the siblings components in, uh, inside of a parent uh, component. So this is a very useful thing to to have in React. And I use it a lot in, in medium sized to, to big projects. So, so I think it would be very cool to make a video about this. So what I have here is a simple project. You can see that I'm inside of a just a simple like a page. There is a, a home page, a login page and a profile page as you can see right here. This is just to simulate like obviously I don't want this to look good. It doesn't really matter to me. I just want to show you guys that these are different components. So like the home page over here is a component on itself called home. And if I come here, it's basically this and the profile is this and the login is this but as you can see on the login there's something different there's a button called login and i want to make it so that we have a state that basically uh, displays on both the home page the login page and also the profile page but it can be changed within all of these pages so it's basically a global state it's not a local state and this is a very useful thing that you can do with uh, the use contact hook. And I think it will be really awesome to show you guys. So in order to do that, we're going to come here and we're basically going to create a context file. And I usually like to do this inside of a helper uh, folder. So if you want to do it with me like this, but it doesn't really matter Then inside of this helper folder, I can create a file called context.js. And inside of the file, I will be able to, I will be basically creating all the different contexts in our project, which in this case will only be one, but in most big projects, you can have a lot of them. So in order to do that, we're going to import the create context uh, from React. And this will allow us to basically create a context inside of this file. And we're also going to export a variable which will be representing this context. So in this case, we're going to create a context called login context. And it's going to be equal to create context. And in this case, it will be a, a Boolean, right? It will be just a question. Are you logged in or are you not? So we're going to pass an empty object over here. And this should be it. We're just creating this file just for organi our organization purposes. But you could create this context inside of the app.js. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just doing this because this is how you will probably do in a bigger project. So let me save this. You'll see that now I can access this uh, constant, uh, this context from every file that I import this. And for example, if I was in a different project and I wanted to create another context, like a context that would be basically storing the username of the user, I can just came, come here and change this to username context. But I'm not going to be doing this in this video. I just wanted to show you guys. So let me save this. And now let's go to the app.js. I'm doing this on the app.js because this is basically the parent component that I want to like, create the state and share it within all of these components over here. But you could do this in whatever project, like in whatever component you want. Just make sure it is the parent component of the components you want to access and change the state. So what we got to do here is we basically got to import the context that we just created. So import uh, login context from uh, I guess it is dot slash helper slash context. So basically the path towards this context file, right? So when I save this, you can just come here to the bottom and you can see that there is a div wrapping around all of this, right? But I can just substitute this for the login context. So wait, let me raise this. I'll substitute this for the login context dot provider. A provider is basically uh, it's just a wrap around all of the components you want to access to have access and change the state. So make sure that you gotta, you're putting this around all of the components you want to access that state. So instead of this provider, I can basically pass a value, which is where we're going to be passing our state. And you might be asking, well, we want to have a state. So where are we going to create this state? Well, we're going to create it in the app.js, the parent component in this case. So let's come here and just say const logged in. So we're going to create a state called logged in. And it's going to have a function called set logged in. And we're going to set it equal to use state. And it's going to take a Boolean. So initially, it will be false, right? And now that we have the state, we can basically pass the state as a context inside of as a value for this provider. 
And we do this by basically coming here and just passing another two curly braces, which represents an object. And we can pass the logged in value and the set logged in function. And now that we have this, we can just come here to the to the file that we want to access this state. And initially, we want to access it on the uh, basically on the login page. So if we can come here to the top and we can just import. So in, import the same uh, login context that we created So login context. And we want to set it equal to uh, no, not set it equal to so say from dot slash no two dots slash helper slash context. So we just imported the login context. And here at the bottom, we can basically pretend like we are creating a state, but instead, we're actually using the use context hook. So we can come here and write const, and instead of passing square brackets, we're going to pass the curly braces. And over here, we can just write the state values. So first, it's the logged in, and then it's the set logged in exactly how we wrote over here it needs to be the same. And now we can set this equal to the use context hook. And inside of here, we can pass a context. So login context. And by the way, when I wrote use context, it automatically imported use context at the top, but you can if it doesn't like make sure this is imported. So when I save this, now we have complete access to this logged in function, this logged in state. And to prove this, I'll come here to the bottom. And basically, I'll make I'll, I'll make a question, right? I'll ask a question. I'll say is if this is logged in, then I want to create an h1 that says, you are logged in. If not, so I'm using the ternary operator to make this question. If it is not logged in, I want to render the uh, header saying you are not logged in, whatever. When I save this, you can see that now it says you are not logged in on the login page component. It doesn't say on the other ones because we actually haven't put this on any other uh, of the like any of the other pages. But it says you're not logged in. And if I want to change this, I want to set the user to be logged in, I can just come to the button and pass an on click event, which we can just treat the set logged in as it is a state that we created locally. So we can just say set logged in equal to true. And whenever I click on this button, it will set the logged in equal to true as you can see right here. And now the important thing is being able to see the state value. So see the changes happening on other components that are not this. So in order to do that, we can just copy exactly what we did here. So all of the imports you can come here to the home page, for example, and paste this here, I can also come to the profile page and paste this here. And I can also come here and I'll just copy the same context the declaration that we created here, and just put it inside of the home. So const and do the same for the profile. And now we have full access to both the value of logged in and also the function which we can change logged in on both home and profile. So for example, if I came here, and I also wanted to make this ask this question, right, I want to ask if I'm logged in, I could come here to the bottom and ask this, I could also come here to the bottom and ask this. And now you can see that it should say yeah, it says you're not logged in, you're not logged in, you're not logged in. But when I click on this, it says you're all logged in on all of the different components, despite them not being locally defined as a state inside of that component, they are they are like all uh, siblings of each other. So this is a great way of creating a global state. And the last thing I want to do is I actually want to change the state on another component other than the login page. For example, if I came here to the home page, and I also created the same button. So I'm going to copy this, literally the same thing on the home page. You can see that now I have a button on the home page. And if I click on this, you can see it also changes like it doesn't really matter. The state is accessible and, and immutable on all three components. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a very simplistic explanation of the use context hook. I hope you guys learn from it. And I really hope you guys start using it a lot because uh, I remember I, I created a lot of projects before actually getting really into state management in react. And I dealt with stuff like Redux, and I didn't enjoy, enjoy it as much. And I really think that uh, using the context API in react is one of the best things you can do, especially from for for medium to large scale projects. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and comment down below. I'm posting every single day. So I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I see you guys next time.